I see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse-eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh! It's the time of madness and disdain. What's going on everyone? My name is Freems and today I'm going to be checking out The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So I'm playing through this one on the PC, hopefully it'll be going up in 60 frames per second. I'm going to go over to my options here and show you guys the settings before we carry on. Let's have a look at video, uh, graphics first of all. Everything is on which is grey and cranked all the way up to ultra which is what we like. And post-processing as well has also got a little to do with it. There's a few things in there. All of those turned on. We've got ambient occlusion all the way up. Everything's sorted. Very nice. I did a few tests earlier and the game seemed to be running very, very smoothly. Let me know what you think about how this game looks in the comment section if you can. And if you want to help the channel grow, just share this video wherever you can on Facebook and wherever else. But yeah, thank you all for tuning in. I really do appreciate that. Let's get this going. Thank you. 
chilling. Fucking hell. Taking a bath with Zoidberg or something. What's going on here? It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. Okay, so we have control. Welcome to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This tutorial will introduce the game's core elements. Each message will be saved in the glossary, where you'll also find detailed information about world lore and gameplay mechanics. To disable tutorial messages, go to the options menu. Okay, so before we go any further, I want to say yes, I am using an Xbox pad. Before anyone tries to say, you play, you say you're playing on PC, but you've got an Xbox pad. Yes, you can plug Xbox pads into the PC. And that is my preferred way of playing. Anyway, the minimap in the upper right hand corner of your display shows your current location and the surrounding area. Underneath the minimap, you'll find the objectives for your active quest. Okay. Let's have a little look around here, why not? <clears throat> Use your Witcher senses to find the key to the bedroom door, which is holding left trigger. Button. Mountain pass is beautiful as ever. Damn. That is looking really nice. So, uh, for some reason, though, that cutscene we just saw was in 30 frames per second and it wouldn't budge over that, so I'm guessing it's capped there or something. Either that or there's some weird uh, buffering stuff going on that happens sometimes with these games, especially around double buffer, but we'll see anyway. Let's hold our Witcher senses down. Naked ladies in the opening of the game. I totally approve. What have we got here? Uh, okay, how do I, like, look at this? Hey, that's you're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. <clears throat> what are you going to do for me? That's what I'm asking. I was naked earlier. You didn't even do anything about that. Didn't honor my penis with a sandwich or nothing. Uh, what's going on over here? Clothes? Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm. Undergarments. <clears throat> well, your undergarments look pretty black to me, love. Just saying. Cool. Sweet. All right. I look pretty boss. Is, uh, anything else we can grab? I just want to have a look around here. I think I know where the key is, but I just want to have a little look. Silver. Gold clashes with my complexion. You should know that. Yeah, I don't know gold either. I'm more of a silver man myself. Uh, here we go. Silver and white gold all the way. So, uh, anything else to look at in here? I don't think so. Okay, let's. Uh, what's that on the floor over there? Is that just something to mess with the fire? I think it might be. Ooh, oh, that's cool, man. You got some sweet powers, man. Okay, to unlock locked doors, walk up to them and press A. All right. To unlock, yep, 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 yep. I just, just read that. Thanks for telling me twice, though. I appreciate that. I'm, I miss stuff sometimes. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, how do I sprint then? Okay, there's my menu or whatever. Just keep moving on here. Just 
keep getting down. Old Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. She prefers practice to theory. Hmm? What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone, it only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Okay. Don't get mad at her, be nice, son. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. His graphics are Killing tight. monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. This game is looking gorgeous so far. <laughs> Wrong. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. You're not in this circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Don't want you to be sorry, I want you not to do it. Uh, better not. Oh, uh, apology. No, it's not enough. You... Sorry's not good enough. You're gonna read Ghouls and Al Ghouls in its entirety, appendices included. No, please. I'd rather clean the stables. End of discussion. Too bad. Come on. We'll <laughs> practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Uh, yeah, why not? Of course. Is a Witcher school or an Elven bathhouse? Oh, I'm gonna beat you so bad, little girl. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! If you fall, that's right. No, oh, I nearly had her. Up. Oh man, she beat me up the ladder. I'm not happy. <laughs> so it says press A to sprint. I don't know. Come back here. You can't beat me. I'm the the. How do we get up? What button? Oh, okay, put hold B. Okay, gotcha. She's gonna beat me. She's so gonna beat me. This little girl's gonna beat me in a wraith. I'm ashamed. Hang your head in shame. You breathing through your mouth in rhythm with your steps. That's right, I'm still gonna beat you, little girl. It matters so much to me. Siri, cut it out. <laughs> See you later. Okay, uh. Um, I guess we're going over here then. I'm gonna hurt myself doing this, I think. You said we weren't allowed to do that. I was totally I allowed said to do it. You weren't allowed to do it. <laughs> That's right. I'm golden. I've got this. Totally got this. Down here. Oh. Where are we going? Down here? Hip. I win. Oh. Your legs are longer. I'll show you yet. 
just need to grow a bit. All right, yeah, I've, I lost half my health getting here, but whatever. I guess I'm gonna have to be careful with that full damage. Can't you uh, like conjure a trampoline spell or something, mate? That'll, that'll help us out a little bit around here. Uh, how do I get down? Oh, okay, that'll do. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Hmm. 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 Won't weasel out of this. Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. She's a witty one, this one, isn't she? Might have. But don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir, got it? That's playing with fire. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with the dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Hmm, let's do everything. We'll just get the, uh, the tutorial done. Why not? Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. <clears throat> Not to mention, I've never played this game before, and I need to learn myself, so... Give me this sword. Let's chop Draw some stuff sword, up Geralt. or whatever. Witches must be prepared to fight foes of all kinds, be they plate-clad knights, ethereal wraiths, or bone-crushing giants. To match the strengths and exploit the weaknesses of a different enemies, witches need to use a variety of weapons and combat techniques. The core tools of their trade are the swords. One steel for fighting humans and non-humans, the other silver for slaying monsters. Witches have also mastered a simple form of combat magic. These signs are not as powerful as the spells wielded by mages, but they can be cast very quickly, with simple one-handed gestures, making them quite useful in the heat of combat. Witches are also adept in basic alchemy. They can brew powerful potions, blade oils, and bombs, all of which give them a keen advantage when fighting stronger or faster foes, okay? So, what exactly am I doing? Okay, get the steel out. That'll do. Uh, press, yep, select your deselect or select your target when you have a target selected or your attacks are directed towards it. You don't have to select a target during combat, but doing so can help you focus on a specific opponent. Quick okay. cuts! One, two, three! Bam! Cool. Strong strikes now. Mount a strong attack, right? Never lock your elbow. Oh, I slapped him. Yeah. Ah, Position, Siri. Footwork. Remember. Yeah, I need to dodge. B is dodge. Okay. Weapons to attack. Yep. No, you don't. How many times I got to this? Roll out. Oh, it's on rolling. Okay. All right. Roll out of the way of a blow. Choose a direction and press A. Okay. There's one dead. Come on, then, mate. Let's go. Me and you. Me. Let's do this. Press me in. Yep. No, you don't. Siri, see how Geralt holds his sword. It's actually. Parry! Come on then, come on, let's go, let's go. Pretend now, live late. Hip! Repost! Strike! Press LT just before your opponent strikes to perform a counter attack. Just like that? Alright. So it's like parry and then tap? Or is it just tap? Ah, okay. One more, come on then. Come on! I'm ready. Now, young lady, to bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witcher's signs. Okay. Let's start with Quen. Select the Quen sign used in the left stick. Empress A to make it active, alright? This one, I guess? No, not that one. The, the one with the big exclamation mark around it, stupid. Uh, to cast the active sign, press RT. Siri, 
Quen is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. What happened? The Quen sign protects you against damage and certain critical effects. Cool. So we've got to try and attack him. Cast Igni, Geralt. I okay. want to see sparks fly. Sparks are flying. Walk close to Vesemir and press RT to cast your active sign him. See? If not for the Quen sign, I'd be aflame by now. Sounds about right. All right, so, Geralt. Come on. Cast the yard. That would be this one. Everything's going in slow motion. Oh. See that, Siri? Art will knock anyone or anything off the Destroy oh. them. Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. Uh, okay. Now this one. Walk close to Vesemir and press RT to cast your active sign in. Uh, Axie can really muddle your mind. <laughs> now, who's next? Erdan now. Show her, Geralt. Sweet. I like this. It's pretty sweet. Press LB to open the quick mattress menu again. What we get in this time? Over here. A magic trap. Walk close and press RT to cast your active sign. It is Siri. So what does it need to do? It slows anyone who enters its effective area. Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Gwen will dampen the blow. Okay. I'm trying to tell you. We're going through these mighty quick, I've got to say. Uh, sit back and throw a bomb at Vesemir by pressing RB. Hip. Sweet. Stand in the spot indicated on the minimap. I've got this. Come on. I can do that. <clears throat> Three of them. Like. Throw a bomb at the trainer post. Okay. Hold RB. I guess that's yeah. Amons. No, look. Heep. Boom. Combat tutorial is now over. If you want, you can continue training with Vesemir to stop training. Simply shift your sword by holding left or right. Okay. Bad idea. Enough. Continue training and work. Oh, ow! Dick bag. I put my sword away. Showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet. Siri? Make sure to find every last blade for you. Thirty seconds, uh, thirty frames per second cap again. What the? Yeah, I'm not sure why, but these cutscenes seem to be capped at 30 frames. You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? Forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Hmm. Uh, I dreamt of Kar Morhen. Let's be honest with him. Started in the guest room at Kar Morhen. I was relaxing in the tub, and next to me, Tris, Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? Mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. 
Uh, then we trained with Siri. In the dream, I went and found Siri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm? Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. The Wild Hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Siri in my dreams might mean she's in danger, maybe. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri'd appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. <laughs> Time to go. Be dawning soon. Time to go. These graphics are so good. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. <laughs> we must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Uh <laughs> stuffed unicorn, we used it as a bed once. Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. Certain situations. Hmm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait. Hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Oh yeah! Life on the continent and in the skillage of Isles is nasty, brutish and short. War lays waste to the land and those it spares live in fear of the countless monsters lurking outside every town and village. Monsters are shown with the silver health bar above their heads indicating that you should fight them with your silver sword. Okay, so isn't it left? It's like left on the D-pad to get that out. Let's do it! Ooh. I actually really look forward to fighting these guys. Oh, no, he hit me. Yeah, so... I'm gonna have to learn this combat or whatever. Let's try and get one of these guys out and mess with one of these magic traps. Protect. Yeah, let's get the shield out. Or, eh, yeah, deals fire damage. That seems like a simple one. Okay, let's go. Get over there. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Didn't I already have that out? Yeah, what the fuck? Ow. Cast that sign. Press it right trigger. Ah, oh, I think I killed him just before I let it out. One more time. Ah, oh, okay. We need stamina for that stuff. Ooh. I'm gonna have to get into that parrying and shit because I'm taking some damage. Oh. Yeah, left trigger's parry. Oh. Done. Adrenaline points. Striking opponents generates adrenaline points. Certain abilities you can acquire allow you to perform special attacks that require and consume adrenaline points. Your adrenaline points slowly decline when you are not engaged in combat. Okay. Of course. When armies pass, necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. So uh, I've got this on the one difficulty below the hardest, I think. I think it's broken bones or something like that. You can regenerate vitality by eating or drinking or by meditating for at least one hour. While playing on the blood and broken bones, that's the one we're on, and death march difficulty levels, meditation does not regenerate vitality. Food and drink can be placed in your consumable slots for quick use during combat, pressing up or down to consume them and regenerate vitality. You have some food equipped in your upper consumable slot, press up now to eat it and regenerate a portion of your vitality. So I take it the vitality is the red bar, right? There we go. How much are we going to get back? Oh, it's okay. It's regen there. Oh, sweet. It's a pretty sweet mechanic. And again, yeah, we'll bring that up a couple of times. How much do I have? Or where does it tell me? Uh, okay, three bread, two water. We just ate some bread there. That'll do. Let's loot these guys. Why not? Let's see what they've got for us. Ghoul's blood. All right. 
Uh, we've, I see on the map there we've got these dead dwarves. There's also little leaves around me or something. Are they herbs for alchemy? We'll have a look at that in a minute. I've got to get used to this malarkey. One of these guys over here somewhere. Let's go grab his shirt. Thank you. And there's another one over there. But let me have a look at these leaves really quick. What's going on here? Gather ingredients. All right. So there's loads of this stuff. Um, what else can I get here? I just want to, you know, have a look around. I guess it sort of shows what's around your immediate area on the minimap or whatever. This will do. We'll do this last one and then loot that last uh, whatever it was and <laughs> we'll be off. It's a campfire or something or my, is that my horse? My horse? Wee! It's horse. Okay. Give me whatever you've got. I'll do. And let's get moving. Is he leaving without us, you bastard? I'm gonna fucking slow down there. Come on, horse. Let's do this. What's his name? Roach. Witches spend most of their time on the road in search of their next contract. They must trek across wide valleys, climb over high mountain peaks, and trudge through thick bogs. Luckily, Geralt can always count on his horse, Roach, to help him on his travels. To have Roach come to you, double press left stick. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, we can canter. It's time to get Every prancy. Time about this sorcerer I knew, couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. Wow. So sexual. Double press and hold A while moving to gallop. Okay, there we go. We're galloping well, away. It's not exactly going our way. Oh, yeah. The other side. The northern realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edern are no more. Radovid's Move. pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. Some enemies down there, but let's just keep moving. Where, where are we actually going to? Just following him? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We going? Help me! Help! Look at this monster's hair right here. It's like a really cool engine they've built into this game. Not ugly. Saving that for later. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, come out. God, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. Hmm. We could use a few crowns. I'm gonna, I'll take your money. Could always use a few crowns. Thing is, I've a meager purse at the moment. Nilf Guardians requisitioned my goods. Now this... Here. Damn right. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone. Mm, why do you care? What's it to you? Well, you see... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. 
Sounds about right. Let's get to it. Where's my horse at? He's over there. Okay. Uh, a new entry has been added to the best. Press back to open the menu and read it. Um. Oh. Doesn't seem like it's showing up there to me. Maybe I need to hold it or something. Let me uh, try one more time. Oh. I think I pressed the wrong button there, actually. Uh. Damn these new Xbox One controls. So, here's the glossary. Best you read. Uh, Griffins. Cool. So. I'm going to quickly scan through that. Uh, da, 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 da. See if they've got any weaknesses or something that it teaches me about there. Uh, it doesn't really say anything. Okay, whatever. It tells me what they're... Oh, vulnerable again. Da -doop -da -doop. I'm there reading the text. And um, we've got uh, necrophages there, but we'll continue. So what are those? Can I look at... Oh, here we go. Hybrid oil, grape shot, and art. All right. Good to know. Okay. Uh, when on a road, hold A without steering to automatically follow its path. Okay, cool. This game's pretty sweet so far. I'm liking it. Enjoying myself here. Let's hold Come A. On. If I just hold A and chill, we'll just be on our way then. So, cool. a griffin this close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountain, sure. But here, You're near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Perhaps monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it. Okay. Populated areas. You're nearing a village. Don't disturb the peace. Remember, town guards and hired watchmen won't tolerate theft. And also won't look kindly on you accosting others. Local residents often erect notice boards near settlements such as, vi such as villages and cities. These are marked... Uh, okay, yeah, I see that. On your map. Examine them to learn about contracts, work for witches and local happenings. I won't go and explore too much at the moment. I'm just trying to, you know, show you guys a little bit of the game and whatever. Ah! Oh, sorry, mate. You shouldn't be in the fucking road. Horse is dismounting. Hold B to dismount. Yeah, we're only going... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, boy. Let's uh, pull up over here. I think I may call this episode after this cutscene. I don't want to leave these too long. The files are huge to upload to YouTube. Rude. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is your coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. What? Witches? I'll not drink with Weaver Law's freaks. Say what? Wanna take this outside, son? Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm-hmm. Already had the pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Light way for a hunter to put it. Clawed Lena so bad, poor thing's one foot in the grave. But does no good to wallow in misfortune. How can I be a service? With a drop of vodka for me. And you? Something to wet your tongue. Hmm. Uh, options marked. Okay, we'll open the shop panel. Okay. Uh, there a contract on the Griffin. Let's show me what you got. Show me what you got behind the counter. Hmm, buy and sell items using the shop panel, okay. Press A to make a purchase, press B to close the shop panel. So, this is what she has, or what I have? I think it's what she has. So what's this? Uh, special card, decoy, swap with the card on the battlefield to run it, turn it to your hand. So a lot of this stuff I don't understand yet, but I'm sure we'll get to it. If any of you want to drop uh, some hints for me, just put them in the comments section, I'll try and read through those. Uh, 
All right, I mean, all right, I guess I haven't got a lot, of, a lot of gold at the moment, have I? Where does it tell me how much gold I've actually got? Is it this one? I don't know. Whatever. Let's just go back. Uh, oh no, I think we have 300 there. I think. I think that. Yeah, right, right at the top. So how much is this stuff costing? Where does it tell me? I tell 20. Okay, I see it there. Right, sweet. Let's back off. I'm not going to buy anything just now. We'll, we'll uh, try and get into that in a little while. I just wanted to have a look. Um, looking for a woman. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. Believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's ask about the contract on the Griffin. And we've got the thing there that ends the dialogue, okay. There a contract on that Griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the Alderman would start a collection, or go to the Lord for help. Now the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Mm, I'm pretty sure we'll have to do something about it. A uh, few griffins soon enough. Pretty busy place, we'll just say that. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Mm, okay, let's back out here. Thanks. For everything. She didn't do that much. <laughs> okay. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Okay. Black one's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, this is working out pretty sweet. I'm loving the voice acting in this game. It's really, really good sometimes. Sometimes you have these games that are graphically gorgeous and then the voice acting is just terrible. This isn't one of those games, it seems. It seems pretty fun so far. I'm going to jump off here, though, because I've been going for a little while and I want to try and keep this video relatively short just because of the size of the file when I have to upload to YouTube and stuff. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate that. Let me know what you think personally about this game in the comment section. And if you'd like to show some support, drop likes and whatnot on the video and share it wherever you can. I would really appreciate that. Have a great day, everyone. And until next time, take it easy.